as a puzzle aficionado. Welcome back to another video from the Grumpy Aging Gamer PSVR playing Crossing the Land Beyond. Lots of people are calling it Zing, but surely it's crossing, like the road sign, crossing to the land beyond. Crossing the land beyond. Let me know your thoughts. It was alright intro, wasn't it? Oh, you can play it in non-VR as well. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. What's my favourite animal? I quite like a bear. Eagle. Dog, dolphin. Elephants, quite nice. The shark. Tiger. like the look of a bear. What animal should I be, Caroline? Should I read them out? Bear, bird, cat, fox, elephant, dolphin, dog, horse, lion. What are those whales with a big unicorn horn? Whatever that is. Manatee? No, it's not a manatee. A little bunny rabbit. Rhinoceros, a wolf, a tiger, a snake, or a shark. What? What? A fox? You can be a fox. I'm a bear. Or a tiger. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how's it going? He, he wants to sleep with the dolphins. You want to be? What did the fox say? Bing 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 What did the fox say? Well you can are you can I guess you're gonna play this, aren't you? It's right up your street. I'm gonna be the bear. Choose wisely, it says. Confirm. Play. It looks good. I've just played Intruders Hide and Seek. <whistles> so, I think I've just died and I'm heading toward the light.
a window or a door. What is this? Whoa, jump, you can jump high. I didn't um, look at the buttons. So X or R3 is jump. It looks amazing. It looks real. Don't have to tell me. So, should we go off the beaten track somewhat? Yeah, free movement. There doesn't seem to be a run. I don't read that language. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a run button. But there's a very big jump. None of the other buttons seem to do anything. I didn't read the instructions. Is that a clue? Ancient mystery. Zenith. That's not good. Can you go in the water? Yep, it doesn't like you going in the water. I am the bringer of bear. Let's get it. R2, pick it up. Put it down, pick it up. What are you supposed to do with it? It's right in front of my face. Put it on there, maybe. L2 to throw. I don't know much about this. I've, obviously, I've shared the trailers. I've not watched anyone's gameplay. Hello. Hello again, old friend. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am your guardian, and the only truly living thing in this place. You exist now on a higher place. A zenith of worlds. But worry not. In death you have much still to do. And I shall be there to help you guide you through the scattered pools rooted in the ground. I messed that bit up, didn't I? With my silly voice. Now go forth on following tides towards Iztal Point. An idyllic oasis among the treacherous oceans and discover what it means to be alone again. Well, that, that doesn't sound very friendly, does it? If you go to be alone. There are multiple rooms. Gateways. Now I'm thinking I should have been a fish or a bird. Could I fly and swim? Palm tree. Nice 3D effect. Should we break on through to the other side? So yeah, big thanks to um, 
the developer for sending me this. It looks fantastic. Incredibly 3D. Beautiful um, the controls are good. There's no run. But it's not a running around kind of game, is it? So yeah, big thanks to White Lotus. Really appreciate it. Look at that. We were a small nomadic tribe. On these islands, we learned to thrive. We lived in harmony with the land. A people of the sea and sand. Okay. Nice. Scouting atop the waves one day, a looming storm swept us astray. We screamed and gasped to stay alive, but in the end, only I survived. A bit of poetry there. Let's have a look over here first. Let's not get sidetracked. Okay. Coconut. I'm not sure that. That's what I need. There's a lot of coconuts around. I'm coconutty for this game. Nice simple puzzle to start. I'm a simple man. For days I tried to leave this place. On planks of wood I tightly laced. But every time as if on cue, a terrifying storm would brew. And darkened skies began to crack as the restless tides drew me back. Some do their best thinking at night. Trophy. What do you think, Caroline? Look at that. Oh, look, how do I get over that? Thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I look forward to seeing your stream.
Pineapple. To explore our afternoon wardrobe. Do you want to buy it? Pineapple in there. Done here. It's quite an interesting game. It's very tranquil. It's a, a welcome um, break from guns and zombies, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it reminds me of that, Hanging yeah. alone in the sky, a fate shared by the moon and I, a circle round and glowing bright amidst the stars. Really? What was it even for you? Find the butterflies. The um, the least dangerous animal on earth. Golden fruit. I need. That's a golden fruit, isn't it? Oh, that's awesome. so. I'll come back to this. Let me see if this is the right golden fruit. Yeah, run button would be um, oh, bollocks. I've thrown my golden fruit in the sea. Hey, Digitalize, how's it going? This is quite a lovely game. Lovely, is that the right word? That's not right either. Yeah, it's quite interesting. It's quite um surreal. So what it is, you you start off the game 
heading toward the light that you've just died. And then you pick your spirit animal and um, Pick your spirit animal, and then you're off, off to heaven, or whatever place you believe in. And the courage without fear. over there then. Was that a bit deep do you think? I'm dead but I can't swim. Yeah I do, I'm not very good at them though, my wife's incredibly good at them. Oh, it said something about night time, didn't it? Trophy. Nice moon. Restored, I carried on, fighting to live for another dawn. <laughs> it's massive. Resolve to make my way. Yeah. To travel forth both night and day, using these giant walls of stone to scratch a living on my own. I missed that, sorry man. Boom, look at that. Otherwise I've got to go back quite a long way. 
follow me and lift your spirits. Oh, uh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I got banned from streaming for 90 days because I was sent a game. And when, you, when you're sent, I don't know if you ever get any games sent to you by developers, but when you're sent, if you have, then obviously I'm telling you what you know. But if you haven't, I, so I was sent a game um, and it had an embargo on it. So I was sent it about three weeks before it was released maybe four weeks it was a long time it's usually only a few days um, and I wrote the date down wrong so I started streaming it like this but a week early and I was playing about two hours of it and um, without realizing I was playing it a week early live so kind of ruining it for people there was I think I had about 50 views on the live stream um, but only like about five or ten people watching it at one point like going in and out of the game and then about an hour in I got a like a chat message popped up saying Daniel can you check your email please and I recognised the guy was the PR guy from the, the developer and I thought oh fuck my fault I streamed it a, a, a week early all my fault um, but they did a copyright strike on me which I think was a little bit harsh I took the video down, but they still put a copyright strike on me, and YouTube wouldn't let me stream for 90 days. If so I just hit a thousand subscribers. Me, the fires I built would guide them here. Though I was sick, I watched the tide. The ocean seemed forever wide. Yeah, so I had, um... I totally messed up. Totally my fault. Uh, let's build a fire. Yeah, totally my fault, but, um, yeah, I hit, I hit a thousand subscribers, and then I got banned for streaming for 90 days, and I was getting about a hundred subscribers a month, but because I got banned, I couldn't stream, and then, oh, it was a nightmare. Um, my fault, though. But, um... Yeah, it was only in January was I able to start streaming again. So yeah, I've only just been on. Yeah, I don't know what um, my subscriber count is now. I think it's about 1,100 or something like that. I've got to set fire to fucking gate. This is where you want a run button. Keep plugging away. It, it took me ages to get up there. Um, boom. That's how you do that. Oh, I see over here. Yeah, just keep plugging away and i tell you what's quite good, if you... Trophy. Yeah, pop up some trailers as Giant well. Trailers help the channel really well. Of sands of gold. I email the developers on new and games and just say, look, would you mind if I share your trailer on my channel? And they're always happy to, because it's a bit of advertising. Um, and then, yeah, they'll send you link to a press pack and you get all the screenshots and everything, it's really cool but it's really nice um, 
and then it's a nice way to get to talking to the developers. Like this game, um, Moonlight Shows the Way. The developers are really cool on this. White Lotus Interactive. Yeah, and they sent me like, the trailer and stuff. But it really helps, like the channel, because like people love a trailer. On YouTube, how often do you watch like a two-hour video? Like my attention spans rubbish. Like I, I watch it at lunch. Um, but people, um, they love a three-minute video, don't they? A Thirty-second video. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. But um, for good retention, they um, pop up some trailers, as well as your streams and your edits. It really helps the channel. Gonna kill me? Right. Oh, that made my stomach go. Oh right, what's that then? Okay. What's what's a gaming at all? Break down these barriers. Oh right, cool. Oh, fantastic. Check it out. Absolutely. Oh, this game's excellent. Caroline, I really think you'll like this. Tried that yet? Does I really get time to play these days? Yeah, it's really nice. 
There's, um, oh, it's going to drive me mad, though. I've left an area and I've not done the puzzle. Which means... I might have to go all the way back. Or, which means I've missed one. Look at that water effect, it's excellent. It's beautifully drawn. Um, I hope I haven't missed a trophy. Absolutely recommend this game. Yeah, you should. They're all really friendly, and they—they just—they love their products. And they just want to share it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I do a live stream like this, and then I um, and then I'll edit it down. Gosh, it's massive, isn't it? Right, I'm gonna. Look at this, and then I'm going to call it a day. This cave gave shelter from a storm, while fires I lit did keep me warm. Ten burning flames to give me light, all alone in the night. Yeah, you should always keep it up, because, um... of torches to light. Right, I'm going to call it a night. My dinner's ready. It's about 8pm in the UK, I'm guessing. Thanks for watching. Do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll go and check your latest one out now. I've, I've not played Apex, so it's... Um, so yeah, I'm quite interested to see it. Um... Yeah, eight thirty. Just want to see if I can light that torch. I'm gonna pour a nice Jack Daniels and then have something to eat. Yes, you can light the torches. Spendido. Right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.